Rutgers guard Noah Fernandes has made a big impact on the offense over the last three games. His ability to find Cliff Omori in open space and leading him with passes and lobs, both in the half court and in transition, has been a huge factor. Here he is having recognition of where Cliff is on the floor and coming over on the screen and feeding him right away. In this half court set, a couple dribbles allows Cliff to roll to the rim and he leads him perfectly. In this set, he recognizes Cliff's urgency, does not dribble, and gives him a great lead with the lob inside for the dunk. Against the 2-3 zone, a simple pass back to Andre Hyatt allows for a better entry pass into Cliff for the basket. This next play off a defensive rebound, Noah takes his time in transition, takes two dribbles, and has the vision to find Cliff running down the floor for an and one. Noah's passing ability allows Cliff to use his athleticism. In this set, Fernandes uses dribble penetration to find Gavin Griffiths in the corner who drives baseline for the dunk. Against the 2-3 zone of Howard, Fernandes showcases patience and unselfishness along with ball fakes for ball reversals that ultimately get a better three-point look for Hyatt who buries the shot. Fernandes has been great with ball pressure as well and here on this steal, he gets Rutgers out in transition and makes the correct pass. Even though Hyatt misses the shot, ultimately Rutgers gets a basket off of Cliff Omori's putback. Fernandes has eight steals over the last three games and here with ball pressure again, although he dives to the floor and doesn't get it, Simpson ultimately does and finds Andre Hyatt for a wide open dunk. Against the press, Fernandes shows experience and poise in being the key man in terms of getting the ball into the half court and Rutgers making a great play to get Cliff another alley-oop dunk. Fernandes is an ideal point guard for Rutgers to run in transition and on this play, you see his savviness and how he runs the break and ultimately leads to a wide open three for himself at the top of the arc. The career 38% three-point shooter drains it. Against St. Peter's, Fernandes shows an ability to run the floor without the ball and put himself in a position to score on the break and finish in traffic. Fernandes also has the ability to break down his defenders off the dribble and create offense by attacking the rim and finishing in traffic here both against Georgetown and St. Peter's. He's also a high IQ player who can move without the ball here, moving off the screen and getting a wide open layup off an inbounds play. I think Fernandes has a high ceiling as he adjusts to his new teammates at Rutgers as well as working off the rust of last season's season-ending injury. The best is yet to come.